Hello Vault Heads, you are watching the self-proclaimed, sarcastically named Captain Keyforge, also known as PJ Broughton of the Steel City Snuffle Gators. And here we are today, it is Autograriton's turn to take on the fifth and final game of the King of Monsters series, and we're going to be playing against the Nifflecon deck this time. So, um, a decent Nifflecon deck, 72%, 66 sass, a um, little bit of everything in here. The thing that strikes me the most is the expected number of 19. Bearing in mind that there is one Dark Fairy, uh, and there are three Baldrick the Balds, that's four creatures that are all capable of generating two when they fight. That expected Amber score with those four creatures is really, really low. There are other things of interest in there as well. Uh, Flump is going to provide a power boost. You've got the key frog, which is a key cheat. Also as well, bearing in mind um, that there um, might be some ways to actually kill that as you've got a savage clash and a dark fairy. So you've got two power two creatures. So there is actually the ability to put down key frog and kill it on the same turn in this deck, which is quite good. Um, the font of the eye for consistent capture, which we've seen in my Nifflecon deck. Squire Alice for capture as well. Anthony for mass capture. There's not much steel, but there's plenty of capture to keep you off check. So it's going to be an interesting deck. Uh, and let's see how it goes on against Ultra Gravitron. So that is my opening hand with me going first. I don't think it's too bad. Um, it's not wonderful, but um, that that uh, Dark Fairy could drag out some creature control early because um, it, it sounds like it's almost a dare. Go on, put down some creatures, but don't kill it, so I can generate some amber off of it. Um, but equally, I've, I've decided to go against it um, just because I think it probably would be too easy to kill and a lot of the other cards in there <coughs> aren't going to do much early on so there we go um my turn one i've put down barrister joy yeah um that's not going to do much early um obviously because of the reap prevention and my opponent can't reap on their first turn which um as ever is simon of the steel city snuffle gators thanks to simon again um he's just <clears throat> deciding what to do on his turn one um, and there we go he's gone for Sanctum put down the Gorm of Horm and then played Baldrick the Bald uh, so yes um, I mean that that can fight into Barrister de Joya and it's definitely going to earn two I just think Baldrick the Bald uh, it's, it's a very uh, good creature. As you can see there, um, <clears throat> I'm going after it. I'm trying to make sure that if he puts it into something, uh, it's not going to survive. Because again, with that good armour on it. So yeah, if, if he uses it this turn, he'll get the two, um, but he will, he will be destroyed. Uh, I've got some good creatures down there. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily want to see Squire Alice this early, but Vault Keeper, you can't steal my amber, and you can't reap. So, considering that this is the House of Disruption, I've got three Sanctum creatures down, and one of them stopping my opponent from reaping, and one of them stopping them from stealing all my amber. So there we go. Uh, he's gone for Sanctum again. He's put down Font of the Eye. He's fighting with Baldrick, I imagine, into Barrister Joya, because it's the the strongest creature there we go and he uh, he gains two off of it but obviously his creature's been destroyed um he's passed the turn to me um i mean the untamed isn't great <laughs> lost in the woods he's just going to put two of my creatures back resurgence i've only got one creature in my discard pile and the wild spirit it's okay but it's not wonderful um, equally the logos it's a shame you've got one half of Gravitron but you haven't got the second so I've played Diametric Charge just to get rid of it I'll play Sloppy Lab Work and I'm going to archive the 
bottom half of Gravitron, get it stashed away for later. Uh, and I've uh, gone for the discard of Wild Spirit just because uh, a creature gains a reap capture one. I mean, could be useful, but I think the resurgence and the lost in the woods could be more use. Uh, so Simon's gone for Star Alliance this turn. He's played a Mutagenesis Researcher. He's played Subject Kirby. Um, Subject Kirby, I think, is going to allow a, a play of a, an out of house. One damage to the Vault Keeper. Um, he's played a Dark Fairy. That's thanks to Subject Kirby. That is equally. Uh, he's played Zeno Training to capture one Amber. Although. Uh, that's, uh, that's the total my that's all my Ambergon being captured there. But as I was saying with the the high expected amber from fighting that SAS isn't really taking into account. Sam has already fought once and gained two off it. If I don't kill that dark fairy, that's gonna be two fights and he's gonna have gained four amber off of two fights. Um it may be worth using my Untamed there to get some stuff off the board. Um, we've got the Lost in the Woods. I'll get rid of two of mine, two of theirs. Also as well, we've got the Savage Clash option. Um, If you, you probably might as well do both and get get them out of your hand. Uh, um, it's just a shame about that resurgence. Resurgence is a great card. You just don't necessarily want to see it this early when you've got not many creatures in your discard pile to bring back. And as well, we all know from watching my videos, and, and you all know this anyway, whenever you're using regrowth or resurgence, you're ideally looking to bring back untamed cards not fill your hand for next turn occasionally it can be worth doing but yeah it's not what you're looking for um, I've done it anyway on this turn just to get it out of my hand um, I mean I'd, short of discarding it I don't think there was much else I could have done with it there. But yeah, I mean, as I say, I've, I've used the Untamed to clear the board. The Lost in the Woods and the Savage Clash cleared the board, put down the Niffleape. Uh, Simon's gone into Untamed himself. He's put down the Niffleape. He's played Resurgence to get the Dark Fairy back. <coughs> so here comes the Dark Fairy again. Then he's played You Know Here. It's played it's coming, so I imagine that Niffle Kong's gonna be coming. King Kong, you know the name of King Kong. Plays Niffle Ape. And then he's past the turn. And now you're thinking maybe the Savage Clash was a turn too early. So maybe a little bit with the benefit of hindsight might not have been worth playing that uh, that Savage Clash or might have been better saving it so I can either go untamed and get a couple of creatures down try and get some use out of the Niffle uh, or I can go diametric charge and lethal logica see if we can get out the logos don't think the Sanctum turn is the best option <coughs> um, I think really it's probably going to the untamed uh, and drop drop the dark fairy and the bumblebird down and also as well I could use my niffle ape to kill Simon's dark fairy I mean diametric charge I don't dislike the card and I think it's pretty useful I've, I've never looked at it and thought oh, it's one of the cards I dread seeing in my deck um, but you're looking at this board state and you're thinking it's not going to kill anything. Um, but I've I've gone for it anyway. Um, just because it, it can take out the Dark Fairy. 
and it was a choice between taking the Dark Fairy out by fighting with Niffle Kong or playing the Diametric Charge. Um, the drawing the sloppy lab work off Leith Logic is not bad. Um, especially when it's got a draw icon. So, uh, as you can see, I got rid of the bumblebird on the uh, on the discard. Um, I've managed to get into check and. and uh, at least I've managed to get rid of the Dark Fairy. As you can see, the, the resurgence was what I archived. So Simon's reaped with Niffle 8, and then he's reaped with the other Niffle 8. He's played Flumpf. Flumpf's got a capture icon, so that's going to take me off check. He's fought with Ugonia into Niffle 8, uh, and game one because of that. Reap with Niffle Kong. Um, and then he can uh, destroy a Niffle Ape and destroy the Cumex and the Steel one. The Steely one was the most important part of that there. Um, putting Cumex into my archive isn't necessarily the greatest thing to do, but certainly when you've got the opportunity to steal one. So he's captured one, stolen one there. Also as well, as you can see, he's got up to 10, which is a really strong check, and this Ultra Gravitron deck is not... Uh, dragging him off that it's not happening <coughs> I can though use it's come in to uh, get Ultra Gravitron into play when I'm looking at it um, I've decided to go for Sanctum though just to make sure we can stun Niffle Kong um, put out Barrister Joy here to prevent my opponent reaping. Um, so now, yeah, it's also a strong creature, so he's going to have to sacrifice um, either two of his creatures or the Euronia just to get rid of it and, and allow himself to reap. So I've put that one down really as a control measure. Um, Shame not to get back to check there, but uh, yeah, sometimes it happens. Simon's gone for Star Alliance, he's played Subdue, Delta Damage to Barrister Joya, played Subject Kirby, that's going to allow him to play uh, a creature from another house if he's got one. Probably has to be fair. played the uh, Universal Translator onto Subject Kirby and there's Baldrick the Bull, the Bold again. I don't know why we had to Baldrick the Bold because it's so difficult to say. Uh, and again, that's a check on the six. I mean, I have got a capture in Sanctum. <coughs> But I've gone for the logos. Um, I've played It's Coming, which has allowed me to pull Ultra Gravitron into my hand. It's also allowed me to draw a card. As you can see, I've drawn my archive as well, so Qmex is going to allow me to draw a card as well when I put Qmex down. And that's let me pull in Munchling, which is great, so I can play Munchling too. Build such a shame you're going to get nothing out of Dimension Door, but a lot of you will know that um, many, many times you will play or discard Dimension Door for no value. Uh, because if you haven't got any active logos, creatures down and ready. Um, that's a fortunate archive, to be fair. One Untamed and four Sanctum, although realistically. You don't want to use it to be fair with Ultra Gravitron. You want to be using that archive to wreck your opponent's board. So I was just having a thing. I mean, 
again, he's on two keys, maybe on zero amber, but he's got a very strong board. The only thing is at the moment, because of Joya, there's an issue obviously with reaping. So he's uh, four Kirby into Qmex, which is archive and Qmex. And because Kirby's a play fight reap ability, that allows him to uh, use, well, and as well, because of his universal translator, that allows him to use Baldrick. So Baldrick's fought into Gravitron, which has gained him two amber. And then he's played down another Baldrick. So far this game, I believe that's six off off the fight game two abilities. And like I say, just that expected amber of 19 when you've got four creatures that gain two when they fight. That's just really low. Uh, he's played survey, which has gained him uh, an amber. He's discarded mutagenesis researcher and he's discarded peace accord. Imagine that's because he, he knows he he probably could do is getting rid of Ultra Gravitron. So, deciding what to do here. I mean, I've got a decent untamed hand, but I'm gonna get nothing off the board. Uh, I got two Sanctum in hand and one stunned creature on the board. So I'll get one capture and uh, two Amber. Um, but I've decided to go for logos because I can reap with Ultra Gravitron. I can discard a card. And I've gone for the Bulwark. And then I can purge a creature. So I've purged Baldrick to stop him fighting, gaining two, and getting it back. And now. If I want to fight with Munchling, I can and discard a card. So I've fought Munchling into Kirby and then I've discarded Qmex to gain an amber off it. So I've managed to gain two amber there, purge one of my opponent's creatures and remove one of my opponent's creatures from the board. <coughs> so that's a good turn. It's just a shame that we've got the, the four untamed cards, the two Sanctum, and we're not cycling the hand. But I don't think that um, purge one, destroy one, gain two is a bad turn. So Simon's gone for Star Alliance. Play Transporter Platform, which is good. Played Anthony. That captures all seven. Uh, again, has the only card in his deck, I think, there that would have uh, stopped me forging a key. Giving me one back because of Anthony. Um, I suppose if we went untamed, he could have stolen one, but that would have still had me forging a key. So, again, it's... I can... Reap for two and purge a creature. And obviously put myself back in checks if I do that to Anthony. And it's still not like Niffle Kong's a threat because that stun earlier is still stuck to Niffle Kong. Still hasn't managed to get rid of that stun. Because um, I could reap and I could purge Niffle Kong or I could reap and I could purge Anthony. I mean, again, I'm two keys to one, be well, two keys to none behind. I really ought to have had a key by now, to be fair. I've just been very unlucky with the, the captures and stuff coming out at the at particular times. Um, so um, I've gone for the logos to try and get a key forged. Um, I've discarded the Niffle I've purged Anthony to get all my amber back. Read it with Munchling as well. Because there's, uh, there's, I mean, or fight into one of the creatures that's got an amber on it. 
is what I want to be doing there, but I've read with Munchling. But I mean, effectively, I'm still like seven amber behind in the race. Um, I am forging a key next turn. There's nothing now that's going to stop me forging a key next turn, I'm sure of it. And let, I'm, I'm pretty sure there can be nothing to, to be done about that. But the problem is, again, in my deck, there is not enough to prevent Simon from forging. There's a Squire Alice. There's another Squire Alice. Font of the Eye. But nothing's been destroyed. So it doesn't capture. As I say, I forge a key. My problem now is Ultra Gravitron and Munchling don't steal. Um, so I'm going to have to go into something else just to use a capture icon to take Simon off check. Um, this one's a mistake because I've re with Gravitron there but I've discarded the Purify which had a capture icon. I should be discarding something that hasn't got a capture icon on it. That's not a, uh, a good play. Um, Then I've fought Munchling into Squire Alice to get two back. Although it's not quite paid off just because of the, uh, the armor. I mean, I've still got one capture icon in Sanctum, but if I'd not discarded the Sanctum card that had a discard on it um, in my archive, I would have had two capture icons. So, and again, realistically now, yes, I've got five amber across the table, but the problem is as I say, this deck doesn't have many ways to to get rid of stuff. I mean, the the uh, the fertility champ will be quite useful in bursting me up there, and maybe it it might actually bring a game of it. Uh, and Ultra Gravitron as well. Ever since Ultra Gravitron's come into play, Simon just hasn't, he hasn't been able to grow his board. His board's been there, but it's not been increasing. Um, every single turn I just purge one of his creatures Simon's gone for Star Alliance Transport platform. He could bounce um, a Star Alliance creature if he if he puts one into play. He could also bounce Niffle Kong and then play Niffle Kong down on next turn and get all the Nifflates back. So he's used New Frontiers to uh, choose Untamed and reveal the top three cards of their deck. So the Key Frog, I think, will be. Possibly going into the archive off the back of that. He's played Crewman Jorg. Use a transporter platform to return shoulder armor and Niffle Kong to his hand. He's passed the turn back to me. So I've gone for Sanctum. I've called the archive because we've got Squire Alice there who'll capture two. Potion of Invulnerability that will capture one. Put that on uh, Gravitron. Burning Glare 
Looks gonna stun some creatures, which is quite handy. So I've stunned Crewman Jug to stop its uh, steel from working. And then played Seeker of Truth, remove the stun from Barrister Joya. And then pass the turn back to Simon. But again, still basically a whole key behind. Two to one, four each. And I mean, he's got Reap for two in Untamed and Reap for two in Sanctum. King Kong, you know the name of King Kong. Uh, and we know as well that that's going to bring back a Niffle Ape. He's played Wild Bounty. He's played Niffle Ape. That Niffle Ape had an Amber on it, so Wild Bounty doubled the Amber on it. So again, to have an Amber Pip on a Niffle Ape in the Niffle Kong deck, especially one where you can bring your Niffle Kong back with Resurgence, or you can possibly bounce your Niffle Kong back to your hand with a Transporter Platform uh, to get the, the dead Niffle Kong uh, is really, really good is uh, for you only into Squire Alice which has killed Squire Alice brought two back to him and gained him an amber as well is uh, for Niffle Ape into Ultra Gravitron he's played Keyfrog down And again, he's got a Squire Alice in play. So now if he's got Savage Clash, he can select a Squire Alice and kill Keyfrog and win the game. And there we go, and he's played Savage Clash. Select Squire Alice as his least powerful creature and that will forge the key and win the game. So that was good play from the end there to win the game for Simon. That was a really well played Savage Clash move. Um, uh, yeah, as you can see, two different Squire Alices, and there's the Dark Fairy as well, which is the same power as Keyfrog. Um, so there we go. Gravitron's played five games. Out of five games, won two. Forged eight keys. The eight keys is the most disappointing part about that. Um, I mean, winning two is six, and then add another six on for losing and forging two keys. That'd be 12. So that's quite low for five games in terms of the games that have been lost. Um, you know, it's literally, it's got two keys off lost games. Um, the played is not too bad. Three times played out of five games. So that's every other game. That's not too bad. Um, I mean, there is the autoencoder and there is the lethal logica to try and help get the ultra gravity trying into play um so yeah i mean to me the, the the main disappointment about that is the is the eight keys um but um we will see how niffle kong goes against niffle kong in the round two of the fifth game uh, and that one should be coming with you on tuesday Thanks for watching, so feel free to like and subscribe. I love comments and criticism, so please feel free to leave those. I'll hope to see you next time, but until then, may the forge be with you.